guys, welcome to the show. I'm Manny. I'm Terrence. And here are the goods. Did, I, I, were you going to say after two weeks? <laughs> I knew that was going. After two weeks. Well, we didn't do that. I was going to say after two weeks. Well, we're actually been consistent. Yeah. We've actually been a little bit co more consistent than the normal. Than <laughs> normal. Box office. Let's talk about it. All right. You so, didn't come here for consistency. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, box office solo has been tearing it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number one in the first two weeks. And uh, here comes a little movie called Ocean's 8, which actually knocked it out of first place. That is sad, to be honest. In a way, mm -hmm. yes, it is. But Ocean's 8, um, you know, pretty good outing for the first, uh, pretty much living expectations. $41 million for number one. I did not expect it even to do $41 million. I expected it to be due somewhere like 25, 30. So I can see why it knocked out Solo because Solo is actually just, it's gassed. But how long? Solo. Solo. <laughs> but I did, I mean, for them, good job. It was due for, I expected 30, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it actually uh, kind of was on par with uh, expectations, like I said. 70 million budget. So it's pretty much on uh, on the path there to actually. Two more uh, weeks, it have already made its money. Yeah, made its mm -hmm. money back, right. And that's not even counting, that's just domestically right. it's still not counting international so um that's pretty good well, with I, that I, cash i mean with that cash with that cast will china like it <laughs> number one movie of all time <laughs> since they love that beauty yeah uh looks to be the highest in the oceans franchise it's pretty much beaten, really it's beaten all of them as far as uh, i think uh, oceans one was like at 38 so we're gonna get oceans end. nine oceans nine ten eleven i think no, I'm sorry. Ocean's 8, Ocean's 9, nine Ocean's 10, and then Ocean's 11. Ah, uh, that's why maybe, they did maybe. this. I see what you're maybe, doing, movie maybe. studio. Uh, so, speaking of low, Solo. Solo. Solo drops a number two, but a distant number two. I'm not even talking about anything close to where it would come out to like, you know, 35. It something made to change or what? Yeah, $15 million. Ooh, 15 million dollars. So far- Support that, Solo. It's a good movie. So far, so, so far, yeah. So far that movie's made $176 million domestically. That's bad. Uh, I think it's barely cracked 220, I think maybe worldwide. Oh, that's Which horrible. is what Avengers did in three days. That's horrible. You know, it's uh, uh, Ron. Didn't they do that in one day? <laughs> I don't know. Ron Howard actually uh, came out and did, you know, defend it a little bit. I, I really think that, you know, I'm not, and I'm going to beat a dead horse, but mm -hmm. December should have been. Should've been I mean, this will, this will be the Judge Dredd of the Star Wars universe. The Stallone one, though, right? I'm sorry, the Dread of the of the Star Wars universe. The Dread was excellent. Yeah. I think this was a really good movie, but it just underperformed. It was good, but it wasn't excellent. I think this All was right. a really good movie. <laughs> I, look, it's a good movie. Go on, see Solo. Spend some money. Uh, number three, Deadpool 2. Doing very well. 13 million, not bad. Uh, 278 domestically. It's not, not gonna even, be deep. it's not gonna be Deadpool. It's not gonna be mm -hmm. the, the first Deadpool, no. But still, that's a good, solid number. Uh, We're that, gonna get our X Force Four movie now. Given that it's a rated R movie, mm -hmm. given that it's uh, coming off the heels of another comic book movie with Avengers, you know, after you know tearing it up. With the competition that it had for it at least fatigue. to make that money. A little comic book yeah, fatigue, definitely. not bad. Number four, Hereditary. Did you see this? I saw the I saw the I saw all the videos of interviews, but I actually have not even seen the trailer. Okay, so for the first time I've seen a movie, you did not I did not see it. And I'm gonna tell you right now, Hereditary has got some solid scary scenes. Really? Really great scenes. I'll take a look now. Scenes. That's it. Just the scenes were great. It's almost like they had The rest of the movie is boring. <laughs> yes, it is. Actually, there's some there's some part I mean like Atomic Blonde. There's yeah. <laughs> like Atomic Blonde. Well, without it was like they had some cool action scenes, but the rest of the movie is boring. <laughs> Except for that uh that so, yeah, Sophia well, scene. I mean, but, but that was part of my, my action scene I was talking about. <laughs> yeah. but, <laughs> but regardless, you know, it, it, it almost looked like they had, man, this is this would be scary, and they put it on film. And, and it delivered because those scenes were really scary. But at the end of the day, from beginning, as far as story, yeah, it was. Somebody took a bunch of scary scenes and then wrote a movie around it. Pretty much. Okay. That's what it looked like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We could have wrote that movie. Oh. But anyway, I, uh, I do praise Toni Collette, though. She, was, she, she did really good in that movie. My question for her is, uh, uh, why do you have such bad luck with little kids? First you get... <laughs> First you got Haley Joel in Six Sense, and now you got this other girl. <laughs> Newcomer Millie something, but she was great too. Anyway. Not Millie Bobby. No, not Millie Bobby. Number five, Avengers. 6.8. Still in the top five? Still in the top five. <laughs> 654 million domestically, just crossed 2 billion. 654 million Now part of that core four of Avatar, Titanic, Force Awakens, and now Avengers. Can you share a little bit of that money with Solo? So, I mean, just take a little bit. You don't need all of it. Give him like the 54 million. 
Give him the 54 million offer there. Let's boost Solo up a little bit. It's completely helping Disney, I guess. If you could, if you I mean, I mean, it's a different department of it, but you know, I don't know if that's going to Lucasfilm. But just give him 54 million. That's all. You don't really need it. Just give him 54 million. I don't know. It's still two two billion is a is is, is an accomplishment. Uh, a Whether major it's accomplishment. Gonna, it's not taking out Avatar, it will not take but down Avatar. it's it's a major accomplishment. You know what? But if it stays in the top five for a few more weeks, maybe it might take yeah. down Force Awakens. I think. It could put, after its entire theater that would run, be that would be a, a major accomplishment because Force Awakens made money like just like everybody was just emptying out their wallets and pockets like just taking my money just taking my but money. domestically I mean that nobody's ever gonna beat that's like no. nine hundred million no. so I don't think no. domestically but overall because if China hates Star Wars so if they had to support oh, it just if they'd beat Avatar yeah. Anyway, so next week, Incredibles 2. So we'll see how Ocean's 8 is going to definitely be Ocean's uh, 2. Cause it, 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 it ain't going to be number one. <laughs> it, won't be, it won't be number one. It'll be in two because Incredibles is coming out. That's the week Trailer that uh, Civil War comes out of the top five. Avengers? I'm Infin sorry. Infinity? Infinity War comes out of the top five. That's what I meant. That's, that's the week Avengers comes out of the top five is when, uh, when Incredibles drops. I think Hereditary drops out. Really? Avengers stays in the top five. Ooh. That's what I think. But we'll see. Ooh. We'll see what happens. Maybe Solo drops out. How low? Solo. So, so, low. Low. <laughs> so Incredibles 2 uh, comes out this week along with uh, John Travolta's Gotti. Which I'm mildly interested in. Mildly. Only because I want to see his portrayal. Not because I really care about the Gotti story. Yeah. Because it was on like just true Hollywood stories and stuff. I've seen enough of that. I don't really need to I don't need to know more. But I'm just really interested in interested in Travolta's portrayal of him. So. It, it actually uh, made it to cans and it's like Everything laughable. goes to Cannes. Not all of them, no, but that was kind of like laughable that that one went to Cannes. But anyway, so uh, Gotti's opening up, and uh, the remake Superfly from Ronald Neonates, which I saw a trailer for this. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know either. I mean, it's, you know, it was one of the top black exploitation films exactly. of its time. Uh, it's a movie of its era, and... I don't know if I want to revisit that era. <laughs> Shaft did okay doing it with Samuel L. Jackson. Well, there's another Shaft coming out. A mm. son of Shaft, I think. Mm. Even though sons, <laughs> sons come from Shaft. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to see that. So, I mean, Samuel L. Jackson did a good job with this. Where they're going in this, I mean, Superfly was a pimp, basically. <laughs> Okay, so I, I might take when it when it's on video. Maybe when it hits Netflix, I watch. There's two things. One, what black exploitation movie does have to happen? Dolomite. No, <laughs> no. Foxy Brown. No, the oh, only, that was a uh, the only one I, called Problem. I want to see Black Dynamite. That's all I want to see. Black Dynamite. <laughs> black, Part two. You know, it's, it was an early 2000s black exploitation film. That's the only one I want to see. All of the other stuff needs to stay in this era. It does not need to be revisited. <laughs> if you want to see them, go watch the old films. We don't have to renew that. It was like Blackula. The, that. <laughs> How about Blackula? Yeah, it was, it was called Blade. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we already saw it with Wesley Snipes. And, and number two is, uh, has Jason Mitchell officially been just thrown to the dogs and nobody cares about Jason Mitchell Hey, anymore? he's the new Cuba, Cuba Gooden Jr. Oh, that's so, yeah, but at least Cuba was nominated and won an Oscar. He didn't even get nominated for freaking Straight Outta Compton. True. That's horrible. But anyway, True. So yeah, so let's uh, so let's see, let's see what does stay in the top five. Yeah, I don't think it'll make. It. Watch him in the sequel to Snow Dogs. Well, <laughs> trailer talk, right. man. I'm like really pumped for this movie. Mm -hmm. I can't wait, and that's the Halloween 2018 uh, edition here. Why are they not sponsored by Activity? <laughs> <laughs> Because of the replay of math, what are you saying? Uh, you're no, because of Jamie Lee Curtis, because she's, uh, she's oh, just she one does. person. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> All right. Uh, trailer opens, uh, it, I mean, it uh, pretty much is present day. Right. It opens to the uh, investigators that are, um, I guess they're uh, intrigued by Michael Myers. Which is interesting. Is it though? Think about it. Okay. From the way it looks, this movie is pretty much going to wipe away from two all the way to whatever. All right. All okay. the way. So Buster mm -hmm. Rhymes, you're done. So LL, done. Same way Jurassic Park just did, or Jurassic World did. No, that was still, con it was still continuous. No, it, it did, no, Park no. Jeep in there. No, it was one, and they wiped away Lost World and Jurassic Park 3. They didn't take place in this continuity. Okay. Yeah, so well, like you go one, you go Jurassic World. Yeah, but eat, forget it. All right, that's the <laughs> another day. Anyway, so they're, they're gonna pretty much wipe off everything from two on. Okay. Okay, so if, if, that's, if that's what happens, mm -hmm. So in the original Halloween, this is a sequel to the original Halloween, his body count was technically four. Okay. He had the three, wait. Yeah, he had the three teenagers. Okay. 
He had the mechanic. Okay. That I don't even know if they found him because he was in the freaking cornfield or the field over there, wherever he was. <laughs> Uh, why the corn look like this? Yeah. So the, so the, why is it red? Why is it red? So the four, she had basically killed four people in that. Okay. So why so intrigued? If 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 the nurses and everything he everybody he killed in part two in the in the hospital was mm. added to that body count, mm. then that would I would understand the intrigue. Okay. But why are you investigating somebody that killed one one like three four people after forty year forty years? Do, do you understand what a serial killer is? I mean, you don't have to kill a bunch of people. You just have to kill a few people, sir. Well, that's that's me. still a I major thing. That's still a major it. thing. You know uh, what? If you kill one person, you make the news. If you kill two people, you're a freaking serial killer at that point. You kill four people, you get interviewed. Why him, him though? Why? Manson, yeah, that, Manson killed how many people? None. We still, people still go interview he him, right? None. They still go he interview him. He was responsible for influencing the murders, but he was not. He never. They still him. go interview him, don't they? Well, we, well they, they still. He's dead now. I think. I mean, anyway, not now. Well, regardless, <laughs> not now. But they did it for I years. Get it, I get it. All right, <laughs> I get it. So anyway, um, so I didn't understand that part, but okay, I'll, I'll, I'll bite. Show the mask. Okay. Which I don't understand why they would do that. Why would they take them off? Why would they take yeah? Why would they take the mask of it? But we're good girls. Um, then it cuts. Great music, man. And, and John Carpenter came out to executive produce and so he can play the piano and <laughs> do the music. Yeah, it just spilled nostalgia. To be honest with you, it just spilled nostalgia. It 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 gave you uh, that Halloween. And even though it's not, you know, uh, uh, I guess canon in this movie, mm -hmm. there's a lot of Halloween too. I okay. think more than Halloween one. Okay. From the from the screeching when he stops the, when he bumps into the kid uh -huh. uh, outside because in the first one the screech comes out when, in the daytime with the school in the school, but you know he bumps into the kid. Uh, the uh, the mannerisms of Michael's movements. Okay. It's a lot like part two. I would say more because um, I forget what his, what his name is. Who? The uh, the bald guy that was Donald Pleasance. Thank you. The seriousness that Jamie Lee Curtis is, uh, that she plays in this trailer, uh, kind of reminded me of how serious he was, and like, and like, I have to stop Michael. Her role in this almost seems to kind of, yeah, exactly. That's true. That my that. my my purpose is to stop him. But it's four years ago. Well, she been waiting. Waiting Take, to. Taking her activity. And you know, she comes out, <laughs> and she comes out, and she actually does say that I've been waiting for him to come out. Yeah, she so was like, you know, I've been, I've been escape. dreaming about him escaping, so I could kill him. And I was like, that's, that's really that's, deep, that's man. Some yeah. PTSD for your ass, right? There. I mean, he was right there. You could have just gone there and killed him if you wanted to. But now there's so many, there, there's so many things that help this movie as far as the continuity in it. By the way, did they even explain how they caught him? No, they did not. <laughs> but he was caught after being shot six times. I think they would. <laughs> I think they would catch him. But anyway, Wait, still moving. <laughs> Go ahead, hang, handcuff him now. <laughs> uh, opens October nineteenth. So tell us what you think about the yes. new Halloween. Sticking with horror. All right. It was it. The movie Stephen King's it. <laughs> Was, oh, that joke continues. <laughs> Stephen King's it was uh, one of the most profitable and. Uh, scariest movies I've ever seen right and uh, you know it right now it ranks as the number one horror film of all time yeah so it chapter two is one of the most highly anticipated movies right. of all time and that pretty much starts shooting this year for a September release next year wait we're not waiting the 20 something years no I wonder <laughs> if it, is it 27 years from the original the 90 yeah oh, that was last year yeah so it would count from the yeah was, we gotta give them 27 years for them to get older <laughs> I'm not good with math. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> anyway, uh, but yeah, the part chapter two is like really, really anticipated. Everybody wants to see it. I want to see it. Anyway, uh, so you got some virtually unknown. Skarsgård, Bill Skarsgård does come back as Pennywise. And um, a lot of the young actors from the first movie are going to be showing up in this. Like uh, flashbacks. In flashback yeah. scenes. <laughs> well, the final role uh, of Mike Hanlon is going, the adult version, it has been casted. And it's Isaiah Mustafa's. Mustafa, also known as the Old Spice Guy. <laughs> so he's like half Minotaur or half horse or whatever. Well, that's besides, well, that's another show. Well, that's a 
WTF. That's a WTF. Um, you know, what do you think about I, that? I don't hate this. I don't hate this. Okay. The only thing Why? I worry about is because it's interesting. It's very interesting. I kind of want to see what it is for him to act. Because I know what it is for him to play a character in a commercial. I don't know what it is to see him acting in a particular role. So... I assume that he has to have some acting chops to be able to do these commercials, but hey, Von Miller does Old Spice commercials too, and I enjoy him in those commercials, but that don't feel like I don't feel like he could act. Oh, then we're in trouble. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the original, uh, the original, uh, uh, part one, I mean, uh, Chosen Jacobs actually played the role of Mike Hanley. He will be back uh, in the role also. Uh, this casting is interesting to me uh, because he's virtually an unknown besides that. Right. I would have thought... Maybe somebody like Chiwetel Ejiofor can't afford have been, it. Would have been a stop great picking role. people from Disney. <laughs> you know, right? This is not a Disney movie. <laughs> but still, I would have thought with the clown with the balloon. <laughs> now Disney World. No, nope. it is funny though. <laughs> I, I would have liked to see a little bit more of a well-known actor in that role. They uh, can't fill Mike this with the, it. Hey man, the budget would be three hundred million dollars, and it was like we'd be talking about how hey. this movie lost money. Freaking Ted Reed played Mike, adult version Mike Hanlon. True. <laughs> in the 90s. That's WKRP. But leave him alone. <laughs> and uh, Venus Flytrap played that. that no, movie. and uh, what's his name from uh, The Judge? Uh, uh, Night Court. Yeah, well, he's dead now. Well, <laughs> but no, he played he played adult him too. So uh, uh, he was Richie. Yeah. So I'm just saying it was like they spent money back then. But they can't do that now. <laughs> <laughs> they could now, as you know. They, um, you know what? I got it. They wanted to go low on the casting, so they don't have a fake ass spider like they did in the first. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to improve that spider. Just they all they can show you is lights and some little arms and stuff. But uh, yeah, they had to. I'm okay with the casting. I'm hoping that the 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 unknowns uh, actually this is their breakout. Yeah, we're, this is we're their talking breakout. about like, Absolutely. oh man, they they cast X Y Z person for this particular role and it was like, man, that was a great casting. We don't even know who they are now. Absolutely. And um, when you compare it to unknowns, you know, Force Awakens is a perfect example. Yeah. Did anybody really know Daisy really? No, no one knew Daisy. No, 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 no not at all. Get enough of well, John Mayer from attack the block but yeah. that's about it exactly mm -hmm. um so you got a clown in it you have a clown in the batman world well jeff johns is a part of dc as well that's uh and he is gone he's stepping down from his executive positions that's not a good sign for them why is it because he was supposed to help focus them he was in a nutshell supposed to be their um for Kevin Marvel, Feige? yeah, they're, he's supposed to be there, Kevin Feige, because he's a big part of DC, the comic books. You know, uh, he writes stories, he uh, he builds plot lines, stuff like that, for a lot of different titles in DC. So when he got on board with their movie studio, it was like, great, they have a focus, somewhere they can go, what they can be aiming to, and then for him to jump off this train almost shows you that, like, he doesn't even believe it, and he already works for the comic division. Um. The executive, I mean, uh, being in that executive role, though, I don't think that you, I think you're kind of shackled a little bit creatively, a little bit, because you can't put the work out like you did in your writings when you do the graphic novels like mm -hmm. Dark Victory and Long Halloween and a lot of these graphic novels that, he's did, that he did. So I think stepping down, because he's not leaving DC. No. He, he's just stepping down from the executive position. He's going to stay with DC and Warner Brothers mm -hmm. as a producer slash writer. Basically, I'm going to collect a check. I think that's where, he, I, but I think that's where they're gonna benefit because his writing is is it's really good. No, it's really good. Yeah, that's why I thought it was great good. when they when they brought him on. I was like, great, we're gonna get a complete other focus. Like we're gonna do some interesting stories, and then like I said, he sees where this train's going, and he's like, I need to, I can't be at the front of it. Yeah, I gotta go to the back car. So when it crashes, you know, I don't, I won't die. I'll just be hurt a little bit. <laughs> but, the, but you know, the root in the you know how you do it. Uh, the root <laughs> of a lot of the, 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 the root of the problems in a lot of the DC movies is the writing itself, the screenplays, and all that stuff. You know, yeah, you could blame a little bit on Snyder's direction because they leave that. a lot of the. I, I mean, they it. live. They leave a lot of those script writing to the directors, and sometimes the directors aren't really the best yeah. storytellers. But I think, <laughs> I think, um, you know, all that excitement that you had for Johns, he should have. I, I would have been a little bit more excited had he gone direct to the writing mm -hmm. and help the screenplay he was supposed stuff, so. to at the beginning that's what he was supposed to have done but obviously that wasn't what he done because we got Justice League so he's going to be doing a lot, a lot of other things for them it's going to be under WB uh, WB's new banner Mad Ghost is and that going to be like some offshoot titles or characters Blue House Tilt <laughs> <laughs> 
DC tilt. DC tilt. Wait, DC slanted. There yeah. you go. <laughs> um, he is going to be writing Green Lantern Corp, so I'm curious of that one. I'm curious if he's going to be writing that or is he just collecting that executive producer check like James Cameron did for a long time with Terminator. But if he's right, yeah, but come on, man. Like James Cameron All did right. for a long time with Terminator. Right. But the right... Who? But, but, no, no, the, uh, when you did the Genesis and you said, oh, that's, uh, it's a, it's one of the best movies. It's been Terminator series. Oh, write the check. Yeah. Yeah, write the check. <laughs> it's one of the best. Yeah, it's awesome. That movie is amazing. You gotta watch that movie. Yeah. That's the most I'm gonna say. Yeah, so, anyway, so yeah, it's gonna be, <laughs> he's gonna be writing the Green Lantern Corps. I think he's gonna do a really solid job. Depending on who the casting is, regardless, uh, the writing, you can bet that it's gonna be pretty solid. So we'll see how that goes. And director of, of that one. Future of DC, what do you got? What do you think? <laughs> Not looking bright. <laughs> Not looking bright. Hey, you know, if the, on next the darkest movie, night in the, on the, on the oh, <laughs> darkest night and brightest day if it's a Green Lantern movie. Um, I mean, it's not looking that great, but I mean, it all depends on the next movie. They can always turn it around. They have a good movie. We thought they were on a downslide. Then Wonder Woman came out and it was like, hey. And then, hey. Justice League came back out. <laughs> hey. Uh, you know who's had some dark days? CM Punk! <laughs> Dark in ass, a, his eyes were closed when he was laying on the mat. In our <laughs> drop kick in the beauty segment, CM Punk versus Mike Jackson in UFC, what? 225. 225. 225. It was, uh, it was a little better. He actually did a little better in this fight. Yeah, he didn't get knocked he, out. He didn't get knocked out in the first one. In the first round. He fared a little better uh, than his first fight against Mickey Gall, which I, lasted he, about a minute and changed, like me on a tired night. He, he, and it was just... He went all... He went, he went the rounds, Rock. Yeah, exactly. He went the rounds. <laughs> did he, though? I mean, he He went, went the distance with Mike Jackson, um, which he should have just fought Michael Jackson. His, <laughs> he he didn't, didn't had a better chance he against had a better Michael chance. <laughs> But Punk looked tired. He looked tired in the middle of the whole freak, uh, in the middle of the fight, uh, not in the middle, in the, in the middle of the first round. All right. He was already looked like he was gassed. You know why? Because he ain't fought in three years. Yeah. Uh, it, it looked really bad. Seasoned fighters don't take three year layoffs and fight again because you know at the time, if they take three years off, they're like, I'm retired. I'm, I'm retired. I'm That's not what you do. It's like if you are a fighter, you was like, okay, hey, look, I got, I had a bad loss. You know what? You train, you get better, you get back out there. Maybe you take the rest of the year off, and then next year you go back on the fight. You don't take three years off. You can't say that he was dedicated to training. You can't say that he was focused as being a fighter because we kept seeing him pop up in interviews here, little TV shows there, stuff like that. He was focused on other things that he's trying to do, but fighting. And it was kind of one of those things. Was like, well, Dana signed me for two fights I guess I'll get around and do another the second fight so I can get my money and I can go home just I'm trying not to get knocked out <laughs> Which so, you, so, so, mission accomplished so I don't look too bad on TV I'm gonna collect my check and I'm gonna go home the fight went longer than it needed to, 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 uh, to we were all hoping he got knocked out that's how bad that was uh, please knock him out but it's more do you think that it was more of uh, or, or are you praising punk's heart in the fight or are you actually more pissed off at Mike Jackson for not handling his business? Because even he looked, and there were some parts in the fight where he was looking up like, what do you want to do? Like, what? <laughs> what? You know? Should I knock him out here or should I wait? <laughs> wait, uh, what's the script? You know, I mean, WWE looked legit compared to that uh, fight. <laughs> no, it's one of those things where, 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 uh, where uh, when you're at a game, like a basketball, football, whatever, and you know that they could be running up this, uh, they they can put the game away, but they don't, and they let the other team hang around. And you're like, just finish Warriors, the game. Yeah. Yeah. Or just like in Fight boxing, or in, in boxing, it's really evident in boxing, because a lot of times in boxing, where the other guy will dance around and just kind of like pepper him with shots, but not really trying to put him away. Like, dude, just knock this dude out already. He's not fighting you. Punk wasn't really fighting. I mean, Punk was just trying to make it all the way through three rounds and not get knocked out. That's really all he was trying to do. Everything he threw looked like he was tired because he was definitely out of shape. And so I kind of put that on my, uh, Mike Jackson because he didn't do his job to get him knocked out because that makes him look bad. Look, this is your competition, you're fighting. You can't put this guy away. That makes you look bad as a fighter. They were both 0-1. 0-1. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Someone's O has to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're absolutely right when it came to uh, making Mike Jackson look bad. And it looked so bad that Dana White uh, blasted him, calling him an effing idiot. Yeah, for not knocking him for out. For not He's knocking like, him out, not finishing Punk off sooner. Um, do you honestly believe that uh, he carried him? Punk really had that much heart to go to go the distance. Hold on. Or it went on because they were in Chicago. 
maybe he felt maybe he felt bad he didn't want to knock him out in front of his hometown maybe that was one of those things maybe mike jackson knew he wasn't getting another fight anyway so he was just like maybe he's a fan of cm punks maybe he was like look I'm not gonna knock you out in your hometown. I say I know I'm gonna win this fight. But, but I'll you let you be make in the it. Rumble. Yeah, but, <laughs> but you gotta be in the rumble. Yeah, basically, you better be. You better be. In, but, yeah, uh, but Number I don't know. 30. Maybe, maybe that, or maybe, maybe, maybe he's just not that good. Well, I mean, he he wasn't. He didn't have a win, so it's not like we're talking about a seasoned fighter here. He was 0-1 himself, so maybe he's just inexperienced and he didn't know how to finish punk. Well, Dana White come, uh, went on to say that uh, neither one of these fighters could pretty much be in the. In the Challenger, the UFC Challenger. Oh, their the TV show? TV show or <laughs> Contender. No, they couldn't. No, they couldn't. And, and uh, contract, he's done. Mike Jackson's done, more than likely. <laughs> he's oh, he's one and one. That's not an exciting record for the UFC. <laughs> it's not an exciting record at all. That's not even an exciting record for their TV show. So, unfortunately, yeah, they're both done. So, who's next from them two to fight Mayweather? Mayweather, because that's uh, <laughs> usually the norm. Too. <laughs> ah, well, anyway. Mayweather would have finished him. With Father's Day coming up, somebody else gets always beat up, and that's the dads. Yes. Dads do. get beat up all the time. So with this week being Father's Day, I wanted to give a little bit of a helpful uh, uh, product for you guys. Uh, What's the product? product? Dad, as, da as dads, we are always in danger of getting hit in the jewels hmm, by, by our kids. By his cups? Pre uh, <laughs> <laughs> Every dad for Father's Day gets cup. Well, now you can buy Frida Balls. Freedom. It is a brand of underwear with padding in the front that protect dads from their from getting hit in the nuts by their kids. It's 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 called a cup. <laughs> they already make this. No, it's Freedom Balls. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's called a cup. <laughs> Brought to you by the smart minds from Freedom Baby. Freedom? What? <laughs> they have two these, products. <laughs> these. Uh, how do you have two products? No, that's the name of their their, their company. It's called Free to Baby. Free to Baby. And they got they got you know, Free to Ball. And the, I guess the owner was pretty much uh, tired of hearing the husband complain that he was always getting hit there. So she created this underwear called Free to Balls. <laughs> Which so, the balls aren't free if they're being cooked up. Well, I mean, it's like, what, what's the point of it? It's like, if the point of this underwear is safety. Okay, so I, I, I got a lot of questions about this. And I know I haven't been looking at the camera a lot lately. I've been, like, focused on the stuff that he's been saying. But, people, if you're watching. All right. What's the point of this underwear? Is the point of this underwear that for safety because you're always getting hit in your, in, your, in your crotch? Or is the point of this underwear to make people start hitting you in your crotch because now it is basically got a road map sign and a freaking arrow is like right here. Hit me, kick me in the nuts. I can take it. <laughs> well, the underwear is supposed to protect you from headbutts. Who's headbutting you in the crotch? And if you get a headbutt in the crotch, she's doing it wrong. Baby. <laughs> Baby carrier swinging heel. Baby carrier swing. How? Did so you, you the carry it right here? So the baby's right here. Oh, right here? They kick. Yeah, the, the, you move the papoose to the back. Sunday morning, Sunday morning. Sunday <laughs> morning. Sunday morning bed jumps. Sunday. <laughs> Lock your door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, aggressive welcome homes. From who? From the baby, from the kids when they run up to you because because that is that head button across thing. Yeah, everything. <laughs> like, big welcome home. <laughs> <laughs> Whose family hates them that much? They're like welcome home, dad. Wow. Oh man. <laughs> Missed so, you. So happy Father's Day from Freedom Balls. I want a pair now. From Freedom Baby. I want a pair now. I, I want a pair. Oh man. Dad, take us home. If you guys uh, are are fans of the channel and uh, you subscribe, because we we hope you do. Uh, if you do see this, please send us a pair. Contact us at thegoodschannel at gmail.com. I would like a pair. I would like, I, I, will, I will model them for you on the show if, that, if you send me a pair. Uh, but if this is the first time. Again. Again. I didn't see that again. There you go. No. Uh, but this is the first time that you're on this channel. Like I've always said, why'd you start with WTF? But <laughs> um, if you decide to make it this far, I assume that you do like what we do. Make sure you like and you comment. Tell us what you guys thought about this particular topic. Why is it a freaking thing? I don't know why. But tell us what you guys thought about the topic and make sure you uh, you click subscribe as well as the notification bell so that way you're aware of all the other videos that we do on the channel besides this stuff. <laughs> For Aspen and Art, where the hell are at? I'm Manny. I'm Terrence. And that was a good... Free to balls. Free to balls. Free. But the balls ain't free because they're being all...
Yeah, they're, they're, they're locked up. They're 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 actually sequestered balls. They're, like, like they're 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 uh they're witness protected balls. <laughs> they're just shoved in there. They got a well, they got, name. They got a lot of padding, so they're like cycle balls. They're psych. Oh, I like that. They're psycho. <laughs> they're like psycho balls. Psycho balls. Hashtag psycho balls from the goods.